everybody, welcome to another edition of Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and I'm here today to talk to you guys all about passive versus active speakers. Active speakers are sometimes referred to as powered speakers. A powered speaker basically means that uh, it requires uh, power, meaning it has to actually plug into AC electricity. Uh, just like the uh, JBL Eon I have here has a IEC cable, that's a fancy way of saying a power cable that plugs into an actual outlet. Uh, so there's a built-in amplifier inside of the speaker in the case of a active or powered speaker. Um, where you actually plug in power to power the amplifier inside. It also has a very basic mixer in it many times uh, to where you can sometimes have more than one microphone or uh, audio level input. A passive speaker does not have an amplifier built in. Um, there are other uh, JBL or other manufacturer speakers who rather than having all of these um, controls on the back, uh, rather than having what's called built-in signal processing, which is like built-in EQ, uh, rather than having all that, you've just got a couple of terminals for hooking up a speaker connection. I've got a commercial speaker here. This is more of a pro audio speaker, but this is a passive speaker where basically you just have uh, inputs for wired connections coming from an amplifier. Passive or non-powered speakers don't have amplifiers built in. Active or powered speakers do. So then the question becomes, is one better than the other? Not exactly. Uh, individuals, people have their, their personal flavors. Sometimes, you know, DJs like to have portable setups that can hook, set up quickly that are powered, uh, meaning you just plug in a microphone cable from your mixer, plug it into a wall outlet, and you're ready to go. Um, whereas sometimes large production companies sometimes use passive speakers with mixers and amplifiers and racks of digital signal processing and that kind of thing and just run a speaker wire to the speaker. So there's not exactly one clear answer, but there are pros and cons of both. With a powered speaker, um, like I mentioned, you basically have the mixer, the amplifier, and the processing all built into the box. That means it can sound as good as it can from the factory because they've already put all of the processing into the speaker itself. With a more passive type speaker, you'll need that mixer uh, to plug in all your inputs. You'll need uh, sometimes some processing, uh, like an equal EQ or that kind of thing. And then you'll need your amplifier to power the speaker. Um, you also many times have built-in system protection inside of powered speakers, which basically helps it to um, tell you if you're running it too hard, running it too loud, um, if you exceeded the uh, amplifier wattage, that kind of thing. Whereas with a passive speaker, that's all gonna happen inside the amplifier. With a powered speaker, because you have all that built in, sometimes it takes less space. Um, I can really take a powered speaker with a microphone input on it and plug that in and plug a mic into it and turn it on and away I go. Whereas with a pa passive speaker, whether it's commercial like this one or whether it's a pro audio speaker, I still have to have a mixer, an amplifier, although sometimes there's mixer and amplifiers in one, um, so I need some additional components. Also, uh, an active speaker, because it has all that built in, sometimes has a higher price point than just a normal passive speaker. That's because none of the electronics are built into the passive speaker uh, versus what's in the active speaker. Um, Passive speakers though, because of that, sometimes have a lower price point. Also, you can pair it with lots of different types of amplifiers. Um, say, for instance, you like a JBL speaker, but you want to use a Crown amp, or a QSC amp, or an Electrovoice amp, or a Dynacord amp. Uh, you have that flexibility, versus with a powered speaker, um, you have to use the amplifier that's built into it. Also, um, powered speakers tend to be a little bit heavier, uh, because you have those electronics built in. Many times you can find with some of the more portable powered speakers, you might have uh, the ability to have a battery built in to where you can have a totally portable system solution. We've got some of those from companies like uh, Samson and Anchor Audio to where you actually aren't even necessarily tethered to electricity at all. You just have a complete standalone portable powered PA system. So which one's right for you? Uh, there's a lot to consider. Um, you know, Maybe you don't want um, a whole lot of cables and you don't want a rack full of stuff. Maybe a powered speaker is right for you. Uh, but maybe you want uh, to keep your other amplifier, you just need a new speaker. Maybe a passive makes a little bit more sense. 
there's a lot of things to consider. Um, it can be a little bit confusing. Um, and we've heard a lot of questions from you guys. So um, for something new here, I'm gonna go ahead and rapid fire in just a moment, uh, some of your questions and uh, give you some answers on what can be a little bit confusing about powered or versus passive speakers or active versus non-powered speakers. How do powered speakers work? Powered speakers work because you have a speaker enclosure that also has an amplifier and sometimes a basic mixer built all into one box. What does powered speaker mean? Powered speakers means that there is actually a power supply built into the system that actually has to be plugged into a wall outlet with a normal, uh, you know, standard 15 amp, uh, normally Edison cable, so plugged into a wall outlet. How do you use a powered speaker? With a powered speaker, you can hook this up straight to your mixer um, from, you know, say your church or your live audio venue or your uh, performance venue. Uh, you come right out of the um, line level output, the XLR output out of your mixer, straight into your powered speaker. Do active speakers need a preamp, phono preamp, or amplifier? Uh, active speakers, many of them have built in inputs on the actual powered speaker itself where you can actually plug in microphone inputs or music sources. So if you only have a limited number of sources being plugged in, you can plug that straight into your powered speaker. Uh, if on the other hand you're combining a lot of microphones for a live music venue, uh, performance venue, church, that kind of thing, you'll need a mixer where you plug in all your input sources first. Uh, sometimes a mixer is also called a preamp by some people in layman's terms. Out of that mixer into your uh, um, powered speaker. How do I connect multiple powered speakers together? Most powered speakers have some kind of line, line level audio output. Might be XLR, might be quarter inch, uh, but that outputs only the audio signal from the powered speaker. It doesn't output the wattage most of the time. So that means you come out of that line level output to run to um, either another powered speaker. If it's the same powered speaker, you can also run it to a powered subwoofer um, or run it wherever else you might need to get that same audio signal. Can you daisy chain powered speakers? Uh, as I mentioned, yeah, you can come out of the line level output to run into uh, essentially, for all intensive purposes, unlimited powered speakers that you need to connect to. Can you use an active speaker as passive? No, I would not recommend hooking up an amplifier to a powered speaker. Passive speakers, on the other hand, uh, don't have the amplification built in. It's just a speaker. So you require a separate mixer and amplifier to power it. How do you hook up a passive speaker? A passive speaker is going to require more components than just a powered speaker would. A passive speaker doesn't have microphone inputs or line level inputs. Um, rather, you need, uh, in most cases, a mixer, an amplifier, uh, any form of processing that you might need, DSP, equalization, anything like that, and then cabling to run from your amplifier to your speaker in order to uh, provide the power that it needs to work. How do you make a passive speaker active? Technically, uh, a passive speaker is only supposed to be used as a passive speaker, but in order to make it operate, you have to hook it up to an amplifier. What are passive speakers used for? Passive speakers, just like active speakers, can be used in any number of applications. Um, I've used both in house of worship, uh, educational environments like um, gymnasiums, uh, ball fields, um, things like that. Uh, it really comes down to a number of factors to determine whether a passive or an active speaker is more appropriate. Can you combine active and passive speakers together? not on the same amplifier channel. So if you're coming out of your amplifier and running to a passive speaker, you won't want to connect that same uh, speaker to a powered speaker. Are subwoofers active or passive speakers? Subwoofers can be passive and need an amplifier, or they can be active and have an amplifier built in. Um, the subwoofers, in either case, you know, do require normally uh, some form of crossover, which limits the frequencies that go to it. In an active uh, subwoofer, that's all already built in. In a passive subwoofer, sometimes you have to make that adjustment at the amplifier. In those cases, uh, active subwoofers can sometimes make more sense for your audio system because they require fewer connections um, and already have all of the internal processing built in.